Hello aspirants, I hope you are having a great day. Today, we have a different yet a very insightful video for you. Through this video, I am going to show you how important the syllabus and previous year questions are to crack the UPSC combined geoscientist prelims. I will show you how to analyze the previous year questions optimally and use them as a guide to make your preparation easy yet holistic. So without any further ado, let's begin. We have discussed how to use the syllabus and previous year questions in the previous prelim strategy video. If you have not watched that, please watch it, watch it first uh, to gain maximum benefit from this video. In short, the first task is to go through the syllabus of prelims and identify different sections given in the syllabus. The next step is to go through the PYQs and identify the <coughs> type of questions asked from each subsection. Once you do it, you will be able to identify the most probable areas. Your job is to uh, make sure you know those topics or concepts asked, asked in these uh, papers in every possible way so that if similar concepts are asked, which you will see in a while that it happens more than often, you don't make any mistakes. Isn't that easy? So let's understand this with uh, an example from physical geology section. You see the first topic of the section mentions principle of uniformitarianism. If you go through the previous year questions, for example, in 2022 to your left and in 2021 to your right, the very first question was from this topic. If you read the questions, you will be able to understand that UPSC expects you to know about what does the principle says, what are the other similar and counter principles related to the principle of uniformitarianism and its application in geology. That's it. You now know to what extent you need to dive into a topic. This will help you to restrict your preparation within a boundary of uh, the syllabus and will save you a lot of your valuable time, which you would otherwise waste being clueless about a topic. One more thing to note here is that we have 10 sections and 120 questions. So the questions are divided giving equal weightage to all the topics that is 12 questions from each section. So you need to find out your strong areas where you can score maximum and also the weak areas where you need to do just okay. But remember that you don't leave any topic behind. <clears throat> now uh, let us analyze the geology paper to identify most probable areas and the nature of the questions asked. You see in uh, 2020 there was a question on abrasion. In the next year, there was a question on attrition. Both are from weathering chapter of physical geology. In 2021, <coughs> we have a question from uh, the on the class one fold from Ramses classification. There was again a question from Ramses class classification in 2022. If you see the uh, uh, see that there uh, there was a uh, question from Mohs envelope of failure has been asked in 2020, 2021 and 2022 as well with slight modification in language. In 2021, there was a question on outcrop pattern, um, um, outcrop pattern of the, uh, in 2021, there was a question on outcrop pattern of vertical beds. And then in 2022, there was a question of outcrop pattern on horizontal beds. Then we have a question on rule of bees. Then we have a question on rule of these in both 2020 and 2021. So you know that Ramses fold classification, most envelope of failure and the outcrop patterns are the areas that you cannot miss in structural geology. From mineralogy section in 2021, uh, the question asked about the sulfides and the next year it asked about phosphates. Um, in uh, 2022 and in 2021, you have questions on opal and its iridescence. Uh, both the questions are almost same with slight modification of language. In 2020, you have a question on oxygen sharing of inosilicate. You can see here, uh, there was a question on oxygen sharing of inosilicate. And in 2022, you get the same question just replacing the word inosilicate with double chain silicate. As you can see uh, highlighted in the red. Next up from paleontology section, uh, each year there was a question from species and their variation and each one is related. In stratigraphy also you can see uh, in 2020 and 2021 we have related questions from stratigraphic correlation. 
the the term homotaxial is uh, the keyword here you can see the question number 86 in 2021 and then um, the question number 82 in uh, 2020 now look at this question uh, the question number 107 which is from 2020 and the 98 number question from uh, 2022 the first one 107 is from 2022 and this 98 number question is from 2020 in 2020 the age of hearty gold was asked and in 2022 the answer of this question can be derived from the statement of the 2021 que 2020 question if you find that amusing check out this one uh, yeah, the 2020 question uh, about Gosan clearly states that it is a mass of limonite which is an iron oxide. In 2022, the first statement said it is rich in chalcopyrite which is wrong and can be easily understood if you have solved the 2020 question. In both 2020 and uh, in 2021 the, this is uh, in this is the 2020 and this is the 2021 both in both the sections you have questions on fumaroles now uh, i found the hydro section very interesting in 2021 it asked the equation of uh, equation for transmissivity and in 2022 it asked about its unit then in 2021 uh, uh, it asked about the um, formula for Reynolds number and in 2022 we get its application similarly in 2020 uh, 20, you get a question on formula for sodium absorption ratio and in 2022 you get a question on its application the point here is that there is nothing extraordinary asked in the prelims questions are made just around the similar concepts and topics from the previous year questions I hope this gives uh, you some insight on how to go about the geology paper now uh, let's analyze the general studies paper as I said in the previous videos the syllabus is vague and vast as you know only thing that can help you in GS is the previous year questions so let's take examples from the polity paper and understand this in 2021 two questions were asked from constitutional power of governor one is an ordinance making power and other is on uh, financial power that means when you read subjects like president governor prime minister etc you need to focus on their powers functions procedures of remo removal etc no need to cram all the pages of lakshmikant as it's unwanted and unnecessary as i showed uh, some of the questions from geology section where you can solve multiple questions with knowledge from a single concept so here is an example uh, the question on fundamental duties in the year 2022 it is uh, it is in part 4a the fundamental duty is in part 4a and inserted by 42nd amendment see you can solve both the questions from this information in 2022 in 2022 we get a question from election commission where the specific article from the constitution was asked uh, which is article 324 and in 2021 there was a question on uh, powers and function of the election commission so this is an important topic in terms of constitutional bodies the election commission so the way to prepare this body is to know the articles related to them their powers and functions procedures of appointment and removal that's all you need to know nothing more nothing less then if you see in 2021 this this one this uh, 2021 you have a question on advocate general and then in 2020 the question was asked on solicitor general and you see uh, the question were based on their function appointment position in the constitution etc isn't that easy to prepare now many students are confused about how to read and remember so many schemes in the news so my friends here is an example to calm your nerves in 2022 uh, question on Din Dayal Antodai Yojana and Ayushman Bharat then in 2020 again two questions on this one there are two questions on Ayushman Bharat and Din Dayal Antodai Yojana and then again in 2021 uh, a question on Ayushman Bharat this one so what else do you need right in 2021 again you know two uh, you have two questions on one is on uh, the National Development Council and the other one is on Niti Ayog. 
as you know uh, ndc is a part of earth 12 planning commission which is replaced by niti ayog now and both have similar but slightly different functions which is asked in this uh, in these two questions so you can see here that upsc wants to check your understanding of uh, the subjects uh, here and not much about not how much you can remember okay so let's glance through the environmental section uh, the environment section mine groups are asked more frequently in one way or another for example here uh, the uh, the question asks about the characteristic feature of mine group and then the next question in 2020 asks the uh, which state doesn't have mine group forest then um, in 2020 you have a question on ozone layer depletion and the next year in 2021 you get a question on Mont montreal protocol which was related to ozone layer depletion and similar trends can also be found in from rest of the topics i hope it was fun uh, knowing how easy it is to crack gsi prelims with right understanding of the syllabus and the previous year questions so here are uh, the major takeaways from this session syllabus and previous year questions alone alone can help you as the prelim stage of the combined geoscientist examination given that you understand the concepts in a holistic way while glancing through the previous year question you must pay attention to the language and uh, the options mentioned in every question and read about all the options with utmost priority pay attention to similar topics asked in the questions you can uh, solve multiple questions with the knowledge of a single question as you have seen both in geology and the gs sections finally i would say read revise and reattempt the previous year questions multiple times to make sure you don't make any mistakes if similar previous year topics are asked with this uh, i take your leave for today but before you um, before that if you want to join our test series which we have specifically designed keeping in mind the way upsc asks questions while prioritizing the most probable areas please check out the links given in the description box below the test series is now live and be assured that this will be a great investment which will immensely aid you in your preparation if you have any further doubts or queries write them down in the comments and we will try to solve them i'll see you in the next video